Right, good afternoon. Yes, welcome back to another vlog here on Coaster Crazy YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, we've come to South End, and the title of the video is Is South End worth visiting in winter? Well, so far, not really. There's, there's quite a lot of stuff closed. We'll show you that in a second. We have actually been here a while, unfortunately. While I was sat in the chip shop there, Neptune's, which was very nice, by the way. Going through my footage, I've just accidentally deleted everything. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? <laughs> I did a clip and realised it wasn't very good, so I went in to delete that one clip. But I ended up deleting everything. So, yeah. <laughs> So I'm doing it again. So we're walking back up the promenade. I hope you can hear me. Yeah, Storm Aisha um, it is at the minute. So I, I sort of think I think I figured out me mic. Um, I think the gain level was too high. You could probably hear the wind because it's very windy. So yeah, we've got to walk up towards Adventure Island, show you what's there. Not a lot. <laughs> they are bit of, oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's so windy here. It's might not even, this video might not even make it. It's just so bad here. We've been here about an hour or so, so we've got to walk up to Adventure Island and then we'll walk back towards the car park. She's already been on the beach and stuff. And yeah, so Neptunes we've just been in don't actually allow dogs in there, but because of the rubbish weather, um, they allowed us to come in there anyway. She's, she, she's caught. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so yeah, what is open here at the moment? Just a load of um, arcades, really. The, you got the adventure inside open, um, but I did go in there a minute ago, and someone was giving me dirty look, so I, I walked straight back out again. Well, this weather is absolutely awful. Like I said, this video might not even make it onto YouTube if the edit's not great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the wind, well, it, it is, it's, it's like 40 odd mile an hour winds, but I can't use the inbuilt mic on the DJI Action 4 because it's not, it's not great, uh, even with the uh, wind uh, set to auto, it's, it's not, it's not amazing. I have now got you on 4K50 with horizon balance on, so hopefully the horizon's nice and level. I just think it works better for me vlogging and walking around so you know so at least the footage is nice and still I don't have to worry about it not being straight uh, I think the field of view is on standard D warp I think it's just really weird because if I wanted to uh, film in full 360 all right <laughs> full 360 horizon lock I can only film that in 2.7k I can't film in 4k with that and it's the same with a few other options I spent pretty much all day yesterday going through like different options and things it can do and changing the f field of view changing the white balance and everything they're just going through it and I've mentioned this before about action cameras there shouldn't be so many settings on them. You should be able to just turn it on and, that, and that's it. I mean, the colour looks great. I mean, it looks all right so far. It's just having the nice sound, isn't it? You know, I don't want to go places where there's a bit of wind and it's sounding rubbish. So what's open here at South End? Obviously, the arcades are all open. It's currently 10 to 4. It's 11 degrees, but it's like, I've said, about 40 mile an hour winds. You do have the Adventure Golf open. I'll stand on this step and jump down. Yeah, so you've got... Huh? I could, well, you didn't have to jump the ball. But yeah, the Adventure Golf is open. That's one thing we noticed that's open here. Loads of arcades. I mean, I'm looking at the footage on the screen. It does look really nice and bright. It's picking up all the lights really nicely. I have it in 50 frames a second, so it stops the flickering of the lights. You find out when you're watching review videos, they go, oh yeah, filming 24 and, and 60 and stuff. But no, if, you've, if you're in the European countries, UK and Europe and that, and Australia, you, you really need to film in a frame per second that's with the hertz, so our lights and TV and everything over here, electrics in 50 hertz. So you need to film in 50 frames a second. Plus it gives a 
nicer, smoother footage anyway than say 24, 25 frames a second. I think 24 frames a second is what TV and movies are filmed in. Anyway, you're not interested in that. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've got it set up right. If not, I'm going to have to go through the settings. But it's just nice to be out of the house. We didn't do anything yesterday. Um, we just pretty much stayed in. It was so cold yesterday. It felt like it felt like minus four when it actually wasn't. Whereas today it's just it's really windy. So yeah, Adventure Island is closed for the winter. It's a shame because there's footage of Taron going around at Fantasyland with like a foot of snow on the track and they still sent it around. It's incredible, that place. And it just puts other parks to shame. Like they don't need to be closed for two or three months of the year. Just close the rides when they need to be closed for maintenance. Keep the rest of the park open. There's no reason to have them closed. That's why a lot of these places are completely dead. Like, especially Blackpool. I used to go to Blackpool in the winter when I used to live in Morecambe and there was nothing open. Not a single thing was open in the winter in Blackpool. And it's sad. When you've got green screen here, just behind me. I did actually forget what it was called a minute ago, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> first coaster being filmed. Yeah, my first coaster being filmed. But yeah, how's the sound quality? I'll just keep holding it so I can clip it. On my jacket there. Yeah, so there's not much open here at all. We did actually look at the pier a second ago. Dogs are not allowed on the pier, so we couldn't even do that if we wanted to. Uh, there's a cost as well, but it is open. The, the train's running up and down, which I wouldn't thought it would have been doing, in, especially with this wind. It's unbelievable. Yes, yeah, so a storm ice, ice, icer. I, I'll show you. So I've got like, well, I need to with my job anyway. I've got like loads of weather apps that I've. What's the storm called? Because you keep saying different names. Aisha. 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 Yeah, storm Aisha. Um, so the wind at the moment here in South End is is pretty bad. Forty mile an hour gusts. Yeah, there's a few things open here. So yeah, there's the uh, wind. <laughs> I also have quite a few other things open. XC Weather's my favourite, the one that I use, the current location. Yeah, gusts of 49 tonight, it's going to get really bad, but we're actually in an area that's not that bad for wind. So you can see the highs of 66 there. But all next week, wind and rain. Uh, Thursday's not too bad. Friday, next weekend doesn't look too bad at all. So yeah, this is what is open here at South End. Adventure Inside, it's an indoor section of the park of Adventure Island. So you've got two parts of it, a part over there and the other side over here. And you've got this middle section open. I'm not going to go in there, like I said, I, I, I did a bit of footage and this guy was just looking at me. But there's a few rides in there, there's a pirate ship, a little drop tower and a carousel and a huge play park just on the side I'll probably pop back in there when we walk back the other way I just want to try everything out but yeah this is the Southland Pier the world's longest pleasure pier and it's massive but we have done this before but yeah you're not allowed <laughs> breaking the law um, yeah there's your prices and stuff Train return six pound twenty. Uh, walk and ride, walk both ways. You got to pay two pound fifty just to walk it, and it takes about an hour. <laughs> it's so long. It's what is it? A couple of miles long, a mile long, something like that. It's the world's longest. Again, I need to go on Wikipedia and check my Wikipedia to uh, to check that out. They've got the uh, Easter decorations already in here as well. So yeah, let's walk under the bridge onto the other side of Adventure Island. Right, so here's a picture of the pier. Yeah, I've just got it on Wikipedia. It's actually 1.34 miles long. And yeah, 
absolutely massive. It's really old as well. <laughs> Open to the public in 1889. Yeah, ridiculously long, really old. Yeah, 2,158 meters long, or just over 7,000 foot long. The world's longest pleasure pier. So I have taken some pictures of here as well. Yeah, I'll just show you this quickly and then we'll start walking back and then back down the beach. Because like I said, there's not a lot open here for us to see. So you do have, I think it's Time Machine just down here. I don't want to stick the camera through the fence because there's some staff there. But yeah, Time Machine's had a whole new refurb and it's got this backflash for it. I think it is. The seats look like Time Machine seats anyway. Just see them down there. I've got some pictures, so check, check me um, Facebook out and Instagram. We've got the screeches over there, like everything's all like in bits. You've got a few of the gondolas missing on the top of the Ferris wheel. Huh? Eh? Yeah, they've blown away. It looks like they've done quite a bit to it. But yeah, just, the battery on the thing as well on the camera is just just dropped out of 10 percent but i love the fact i can walk around with this little battery case it's brilliant i charged all the batteries up the other night and it literally took 10 minutes or something just to charge them all up it's ridiculous i can actually start and stop the camera recording as well just by pu pushing a button on the the microphone which is amazing again i couldn't do that with a gopro i'd have to have my arm up here and then press it on and off with my arm you know with my finger turn it on and off but I can just, you know, press the button there and yeah. <laughs> so I hope that works out right. Yeah, so you've got uh, Fier Fr Fr Pharaoh's Fury. F -f 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 Pharaoh's Fury just down here, which is the Twister ride. That was over at the other side. Uh, they're actually installing a drop tower. I'll just, I'll, I'll do a zoom in on the footage to, so you can see where it's going. But yeah, they did the concrete base the other day, I think. Or last week there's not yeah there's nothing going on with that <laughs> at the moment uh, it's not like they can put up a, a god knows how many meters tall drop tower in this weather and you've got axis here as well with half of the half of the seats missing again there's no point me filming the fence because you're not going to see anything yeah half of that's in bits as well so there's a lot of maintenance going on there's obviously nothing open the park's not even open other than the other than what I showed you, the golf. So, right, we've got to walk back now because there's nothing else we can do here. There's the observation platform just there that you can go up. Yeah, we'll be definitely be back to Adventure Island this season. I we didn't even come last year. I mean, like, again, dogs are not allowed. So, yeah, <laughs> it's one of those, isn't it? It's a sort of free to enter park like that, and you, you can't you can't take your dogs in there. But never mind, it's not like we can go to a lot of places with dogs anyway. I spend most of the time researching places that we can go to, which we've done most of them. It's just nice to have a walk around and a beautiful parking palace hotel up there. Yeah, Grosvenor Casinos. I should stay up there. But yeah, one thing I want to do is as well, like a, a, a sit, another sit down video about the future of vlogging theme parks in general or not just theme parks everything sort of attractions theme parks fun fairs and attractions in general i don't know what it is at the moment but we're, we're all struggling we we really are even when i looked the other day theme park reviews got nearly two million subscribers and some of his videos are not getting amazing views i just don't know what it is it's it's really odd and the fact that what with me tim is absolutely smashing youtube at the minute he really is he just did a video the other day at the ritz in london it's a day old and it's had nearly 300,000 views on it already in a day it's mental it yeah. yeah yeah it was like what was it nearly 3000 pound or something i think they spent it was a mental, like two, it was just over £2,000 for the room for the night. And then it was like, 
nearly 300 quid for a meal it's just unbelievable but he's made that back already from the amount of views that he's had on that video but yeah people seem to watch want to watch like reviews hotels food and that sort of stuff now people aren't really interested in theme parks now it's we, it, it's getting to a stage where we need to find something else to do although i obviously just bought this camera and the, the mic set up and stuff to, you know I, I just don't know and i think there's a lot of channels in the same position as well yeah well never mind let's go down this way now i need to change my battery as well my battery is just at four percent but yeah the fact that the camera is really good it's really nice and clear looking at the screen i can obviously change settings to optimize battery and stuff but i've had the battery in since yesterday and i was playing around with the settings so yeah battery life seems to be okay on it let's have a walk down this way right i'm i'm back on it's so easy to change batteries and stuff literally just carry this with you it's got one empty battery in it now but yeah if i've got a full charge on here and i filmed what i need to film i can plug my phone into that and charge my phone off it which is so good <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm quite impressed with it yeah it's just a battery pack yeah i know i know i know it's just a battery pack but it's just new stuff to me isn't it but yeah just putting a full battery and yeah I, I am liking the camera it's so small though it's really really small and i've got obviously the big pole as well so i can vlog like this it goes even longer than this and i got it wrong it's 1.5 meters long I, I said nearly three meters um and on the app you can get rid of the stick but at the moment as you can see i'm filming it you can't even see the stick so that's more for um like snowboarding and stuff like that yeah Got the golf there as well. I mean, comment down below. I mean, are you liking the footage? I mean, like I said, he's got this D Log M thing on it, which is like a flat color profile, which you can then edit the colors in post if you want to do that. But I've never one, been one for doing a lot of editing and things. That's why my, my vlogs are quite basic. Um, like I've just started doing all these. In, nice intros and things like that wow the winds you can probably hear it i mean it's probably really picking the wind up quite badly if it is i'm gonna have to do something with this to stop the wind because otherwise what's the point of having the mic <laughs> if it's picking up the wind um yeah so you can there's a lot of stuff you can do with the camera but i think the color looks great there's no point in me doing d log m and then color profiling everything because it just takes forever if you've got like 20 clips from a day at a park or a, you know an attraction or anywhere you, you don't want to be going in and editing all the footage as well as editing it all together and it just just takes off the enjoyment for me for doing that but it looks it looks great it looks really good Another thing I could probably do is then bring it even longer and then film behind me. Is the mic even still picking it up? It should do. But it's, 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 it's getting it right, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, so we're now on the beach. This pole's massive, by the way. <laughs> oh, probably not ideal when it's super windy, though. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, so beach time. Yeah, Tilly's not really been on the beach much since last year. So I should be filming Lisa's skirt anyway. <laughs> I know, it's really bad. Oh God, yeah, I could see the gain on the camera as well. It's just in the red because it's just picking up the wind. It's, it's got this wind muff on it, but I don't think it's doing a great job if I'm honest. <laughs> well, not in 40 mile an hour winds anyway. Oh my God. 
but yeah seriously though if you can hear me okay just comment down below let us let us know what you'd like to see moving forward with the channel you know i've been struggling for a while and a lot of people have to say i've got nearly 35,000 subscribers and most of my videos are only getting 2,000 views it's I know it's pathetic it really is but <laughs> someone that goes out and videos a hotel and is getting like you know millions of views mm, something's not right is it wow it is unbelievably windy we've even put Tilly back on the lead Was she being blown away? That's why she stopped moving. Is it too windy? Bless her. Yeah, we'll just head back to the car. But the age old, age -old question is, is Southend worth visiting at winter? I'd probably say, yeah, when it's not like this, you know, like blowing a gale and there's a storm. There is a lot of things closed. You get that anyway. You get that with most seaside towns. It's such a shame, like in Blackpool, when the Pleasure Beach is closed, like pretty much the whole of Blackpool's closed. And it was the same when I used to live in Morecambe. I never had any, it was never anything to do with the, in the winter time. Yeah, I see the gain's gone down a bit now. Yeah, I think this microphone's picking up the wind, but the internal mic on the camera won't do a great job. That was probably one thing I'll miss about the GoPro using the media mod. Now, the big muff on it, it didn't pick up any wind noise whatsoever. It was brilliant for that. But yeah, it's just always sad walking around these places that are completely dead. There's no one around. The pier does look great, but yeah, I was saying about the um, the footage, the colours look really good. Like that sky, what you can see on the camera is exactly what I can see with my own naked eye. Grey. <laughs> Very grey. Yeah, so we'll walk down, we'll go to the car park, there's a sea life centre down there as well. That I've uh, I've never been to. I don't know if it's worth checking out. Comment down below. Is it worth going to? Is it worth me doing a video there? I don't really know. Like I, I, I think the aim was when obviously when we got Tilly was to go and do a lot of dog friendly things, which we've done. We've done a lot of dog friendly stuff. We've been to pretty much all the dog friendly amusement parks and theme parks and any anywhere that we can go attraction wise with a dog. We, we we've pretty much done it. So it's just it's just finding new things to do. Obviously, the aim is to get a is to rent a camper van and go around Europe. Uh, obviously, later in the year, not not like winter time, I suppose. These are really good. Can't see it. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. So let's uh, walk down this way a bit more. Oh God, I've just been stood there behind me taking some pictures um, and I nearly got blown over. Lisa's already back at the car with Tilly. Um, yeah, there's not a lot open here. Again, it's a seaside town in winter and everything's pretty much closed other than a, like, a few arcades and another arcade over there behind me. Fish and chip shops are closed. I don't even think the Sea Life Centre opened or Sea Life Adventure it's called. It is a part of the Adventure Island. I think you can get a combo ticket and things there. It's just down there at the end of the car park. But yeah, it cost me like three pound eighty or something to park here for a few hours. Right, that's it. That's it for me. Um, it's just a very short video. I did actually, obviously, film a bit more, but I deleted the footage by accident. I don't know if it's the best way to be out of the wind just there but yeah i hope you've enjoyed the footage from the brand new dji osmo action 4 with the mic um, attached i hope the footage is decent comment down below if there's anything you think i need to do with the settings or anything like that obviously checking the, the sound as well with the mic and stuff but yeah if you've enjoyed it don't forget to comment like and subscribe hit the notification bell for next time i upload another video Please give the video a big
thumbs up because it really helps me out. And again, comment down below with any suggestions of ideas of videos to do. It's just really hard. I, I will probably do some sort of sit down video at some point explaining the situation with what's going on. A theme park vlog's completely dead in the water. I know there's actually, I was looking through, through uh, YouTube, there's, there's, there's at least five channels that I know of that didn't do any sort of Christmas vlog whatsoever. Some vid, some channels I've uploaded in well over a month. And it just seems a bit like, yeah, if you're running a YouTube channel, you need the constant um, content to be coming out. You can't be uploading something and then leave it two or three months. I know I've done the same thing with my own Crane channel, but I've been busy with doing other things, so I don't really know what the crack is at the minute. It's just, yeah, I'd rather go and review unusual stuff and things that we haven't done before anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one which i have no idea where it'll be from but i'll see you again bye for now